we were given a trapezoid and asked to determine the perimeter and the area. The perimeter of any polygon is the distance around the outside of the polygon, and therefore to find the perimeter, we sum the lengths of all of the sides, which means the perimeter of the trapezoid is equal to, if we start here, 5.1 meters plus 10 meters plus 6.4 meters plus 5 meters. Let's find this sum vertically. So we have 5.1 plus 10, which divide as 10.0, so all the place values line up nicely, plus 6.4 plus 5, which divide as 5.0. Bring the decimal down to the sum, and now beginning in the tenths place value, we have 1 plus 4, which is 5. In the ones place value, we have 5 plus 6 plus 5, which is 16. We record a six in the ones place value, perform an exchange, and place a one in the tens place value. In the tens, we have one plus one, which is two. The sum is 26.5, which means the perimeter of the trapezoid is 26.5 meters. So below, we enter 26.5, and here we want to select the units, which we know as meters. Next, we're asked to find the area of the trapezoid the formula for the area of a trapezoid is area equals one half times the quantity b sub one plus b sub two times h, where b sub one and b sub two are the two bases of the trapezoid, and h is the height. And the two bases are the two parallel sides of the trapezoid. It does not matter which is labeled b sub one and b sub two. Let's label this side b sub one, this side b sub two, and the height of the trapezoid is the length or distance between the two bases, and therefore this is the height. So using the area formula, the area of the trapezoid is equal to one half times the quantity b sub one plus b sub two is 10 meters plus five meters, times the height, which is five meters. And now we simplify the right side using the order of operations. We first simplify inside the parentheses, which gives us one half times 10 plus five is 15 times five. Because of the one half, let's write 15 and five as fractions with denominators of one. And now multiplying, in the numerator we have one times 15 times five, which is 75. In the denominator we have two times one times one, which is two. This is an improper fraction, which does not simplify. We could express the area as 75 halves square meters. But because the figure involves decimals, let's convert 75 halves to a decimal. To do this, we divide 75 by two. There are three twos in seven, three times two is six, we subtract, the difference is one, bring down the five. There are seven twos in 15, seven times two is 14, we subtract. We have a remainder of one, but because we're converting the improper fraction to a decimal, we add a decimal point to the right of the five in the dividend, add a zero, move the decimal up to the quotient, and continue dividing. So we bring down the zero. There are five twos in 10, five times two is 10, we subtract, the difference is zero, and now we know 75 halves equals 37.5. It would be more common to express the area as 37.5 square meters, which indicates 37.5 or 37 and a half square meters would fit inside the trapezoid. We enter 37.5 and we select the units of meters squared. I hope you found this helpful.